building Hercules program. I'm not going to go over the individual days. They're already in their own individual videos. I go through it. You can see the exercises I do, how I do them. I give a little bit on how you're supposed to do them or how I do them. It's going to be in a playlist, hopefully in the description as well. I'm not going over that here. I want this video to be more bite size and hopefully go over some things I might not have gone over in the individual videos and make this a good starting point on first what this program is so you know if it's even the right place for you to begin with this program is a bodybuilding program which means it is hypertrophy focused it is intended for intermediate and advanced lifters who are accustomed to bodybuilding style volumes and isolations if you're an intermediate or advanced lifter in terms of maybe something like powerlifting exclusively or something that's only strength focused and never made hypertrophy a big deal for you. I don't know how well that will translate. I can only speak from my experience. And if you're intermediate or advanced in terms of volume and bodybuilding, you can probably jump onto this without too much difficulty. This program is based on the training I had been running for myself leading up to this. Now, no single session before I put this program together looked exactly like this, but I base it off what I had been doing anyway into a singular program that you or someone else would be able to run. That also means that this program is selectively emphasizing and or de-emphasizing certain muscles and muscle groups based on my personal goals at the time I had been training before I put this together. So what that means, continuing, is this program is suitable for you if your goals are similar to me, which will be primarily folks focused on maximizing the appearance of size will enclose. This is going to sound incredibly like the concept introduced by Alex Leonidas that he coined as naturally enhanced. It's because myself and a lot of other guys have that similar goal. I also ran and reviewed his program, which I have learned from as I have learned from many others as well. But that means it's going to be focusing a lot on the yokes like the neck, the upper back and upper traps, the arms, forearms, calves, shoulders, and even some of the glutes. Things like, like such as focusing on calves, that's more of where I um, differ from like the naturally enhanced concept. Because for me, I'm thinking anything more exterior so forearms or even calves adds more of the illusion of size if you're doing something like wearing shorts on top of the appearance of side in clothes also having well-developed abs and obliques when you do take the shirt off also why in particular i chose the image of the arnie's hercules for things such as the thumbnail for the program and video that look of like blocky power will also be big if you were to have shirt on or off it's look I want to go for and finally what this program is doing is attempting to be time efficient with both your with all the volume you have I'm trying to get that in time efficiently while also maintaining a base of conditioning through the use of all these supersets without having to necessarily add in specific extra cardio if you do want to add in extra cardio that's great that can only be a benefit but I wanted to, without having to do that, maintain some conditioning and be, like I said, be time efficient because I don't want to be in there all day. I have a job. I have a family. I don't want to be spending forever in the gym like some of their guys might be able to and might prefer. I've actually talked to people who prefer to take three hours and not superset and not be time efficient because they just enjoy being in the gym and they have the time to afford to do so. If that's you, great. That's not me. That's not a lot of people. What this program is not is a strength program now to be clear that does not mean the program will leave you weak if you remember in order to get stronger in the long term you need to get bigger and many strength programs include hypertrophy phases because that's necessary we are not putting in different phases of the program because this is just a pure hypertrophy program however it doesn't mean that you won't get stronger if you get bigger we're just not trying to get strength specific adaptations the greater hypertrophied a muscle is the greater strength potential it has so if you run this program and the certain muscles grow those certain muscles will be able to express more strength once you go back to a strength program but that's not the purpose of this program this isn't periodized to be part of a strength training program and for something it is just pure bodybuilding pure hypertrophy so it's not intended 
to make you stronger in a one rep max or a performance setting. This program is not intended for beginners, potentially not even useful, might be detrimental. It's throwing too much too soon. You need something more general and maybe less work for beginning. It is, this program is not suitable for everyone's goals. It also means it's not a particularly balanced program. For instance, if you are lacking in leg size, you're going to need to either heavily modify this program to be more suitable for you or simply pick another program. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not going to be hurt. I won't even know unless you specifically comment to tell me you didn't pick my program because there wasn't enough leg volume, at which point, thanks for the engagement. For instance, I didn't add a lot because at the moment, my leg size, in particular my quad size, I'm satisfied with. So I don't need, I don't need nor want to expend a bunch of time and energy trying to grow my quads when that same time and energy I could be putting into growing other things I value more at the moment. A year from now, that might switch around if the other stuff grows and I realize my quads are behind. But anyway, that's not important here. And finally, this program is not suitable for someone who is not comfortable with changing and tweaking the program. I did not put this together for this to be you keep running this exact same four week thing, which is actually the same four actually the same one week four times for a month you don't run that exact same thing indefinitely i want you to tweak this based on what exercises you find better for you and as like your needs and stuff changes and what equipment you have available I wanted i want the program to evolve with you if you run this program for a year i want the program you're running a year from now to only have a few things in common with the program you started today and that could be the same amount of days a week. It could be all the supersetting. It could be the same muscle groups emphasized. But it should keep changing, at least in my sort of philosophy of training and bodybuilding, it should, it should evolve with you. This is a starting point. If you're not comfortable with that and you want something you run as is and you don't change, you just follow it. You might want to look somewhere else. I didn't build it for that. In that regard, it's not perfect or complete. It is meant to be incomplete and imperfect and for it to grow to fit you over time. Hopefully I answered um, with you what it is and is not answered a few things to help you decide if you wanna run it. Uh, a few additional points is for one, as I mentioned with the supersetting meant to be time efficient in the conditioning, that's why supersets are used extensively because a lot of cases you are able to do something such as calf raises or some neck work well, another muscle group is resting and it doesn't interfere, especially cardiovascularly. Well, you can do nearly any exercise and while you're recovering, you can do calves. It's not that mentally or physically demanding. Also in preparing this program and running this program, I experimented with something new and that was doing only two sets of each exercise. I usually do three. As I was putting this program together, trying to do three sets of every exercise made it very difficult in two main ways. First, it made it much more complex in figuring out how to superset everything to be time efficient because you have to figure out how much volume you have for everything on that particular day versus that week. And it made it much more complex and difficult to balance everything properly. And two, when you're doing this much total work throughout the day and you want to hit everything appropriately if you do three sets of everything a lot more of your energy is put in the beginning of the workout for some stuff and you have less available at the end to put the right amount of effort into the stuff later because this isn't like a as i said it's not a strength training program where as long as you got your big compound in if you gas out on your accessories you got the main important work in there are no accessories on this program because this isn't a strength program like that there are no accessories. Everything is important to hit. So if you're expending too much energy at the beginning, you don't have energy for the stuff later. So I found using two sets of everything helps solve both issues. It equalizes your effort throughout the entire workout. So you can pour all the energy you need into everything that needs it. But also does simplify supersetting a bit, especially in something like the abs or the neck that you're going to hit every time you go in. It makes it so you're less likely to overdo those areas, especially in something like the neck. You don't want to overdo something and mess something up in your neck. You can't replace that. So I'm going to go easy there. I think hopefully those were the final things I wanted to go over in more detail. 
any other questions, obviously drop them below. And finally, because I had put off this for so long, I had actually managed to get a, a comment on the community post where I announced that I had completed the video for the last day and was going to be going an overview. So I want to thank uh, Ryan9093 for, for this comment. It was appreciated where he said he had just finished three months of the program. And he, I think he was actually a great, this feedback was like a great example for who it's intended for and how it's supposed to work. He was an intermediate lifter. He said that even though he wasn't expecting strength gains, which as I said, is not the purpose, he did increase his his bench over the period. And I'll put this up so so you can read, but he expressed, he demonstrated in, in the comment how effectively his conditioning went up, but also how it sounds like early on, he customized the program a little bit by substituting the leg press for um, Smith machine squats, which she got from the GVS program Ravage. So that's the exact type of thing I want to see you do. He saw a tweak he could make to make things more suitable, whether to his preference or his needs or the intensity he wants to put into his quads or whatever it was, he tweaked it. And, and in a way that I consider spot on, that's exactly what I want you to do. I want you to learn from this program. If you run this program for two years, I want it to be I want it to look like a program you made from the ground up because of how much it's built to suit you. And finally, where we close up, saying he's going to continue to, to tweak it and program it for yourself. That, that, that is what I want. I'm not dogmatic about this, or if I put out any other programs, I'm not going to be dogmatic about them. These are, this is I have learned from the people before me and from the programs I've run, and I've taken bits from all of them. As I, it's very clear, there are little tidbits that I've taken from Alex Lee and I's the program and from plenty of other things I've done as well that are visible here. I want that, that to happen to you with this program. And I would love to hear what things you learned from it, what things you changed to suit you. So without going on for too long, that's what this program is and is not. You'll are able to see me actually go through it for the four days of the week through the four other videos and hopefully that does it all so if you're watching this want to thank you for your time and hopefully i'll see you around